Good afternoon, ladies, gents, and Pikachus. Welcome back, you lovely, beautiful people of the internet. So we are once again going to do our latest edition of the breakdown of the Quran of the Muslims. And this time it's going to be very interesting because we're getting into Allah's version of the Jesus Christ parables. So before I start, I'm going to tell you now, if you have any doubts as to my factual accuracy, please buy and read one of these first. Once you've done that, you'll recognize every word I'm about to say now from my notes is true of the word of Allah and what Muslims believe today. So what we're going to do is go through this verse by verse, breaking it down into factual, logical statements in English, so we can understand how this affects us non-believers in the world today. And before we get started, if you watched the last episode, which I hope you did, you'll remember that we have been introduced to the second surah, which starts with Imran and his family being raised above all prophets, with his corrupt Quranic scripture, as we went through before, it's not actually what's supposed to happen. What's supposed to happen is Adam, Noah, Abraham, Jacob, Ishmael and Mohammed are supposed to be the prophets. But then he adds on the end, but above all those is Imran and his family. Then we go through how Isra Im Imran has a wife, his wife has a child, the child is an evil baby according to Allah. But he's going to bless this child anyway with a, uh, a baby, despite the fact that it's a one year old baby. So the one-year-old baby is going to have a baby. How far does it go? Babies from babies from babies. And that is Allah's command. So that's where we got up to. 46. Of Jesus he say, He shall preach from youth to his elderly years and remain righteous in the companies of the prophets of old. End of verse. So we start off talking about Jesus. Now it must be made clear here, this is the reason why Muslims dislike Christians. Muslims reading from the Quran think Jesus Christ is the son of Allah. So when they hear things that we say about Jesus that are in our gospels, they don't believe that to be real Jesus. But in the words of me and the gospels and pretty much everyone else, Jesus Christ, son of Allah, is not the real Christ. He's a false Christ. And we know this if we trace back his genealogy. Mary, um, sister of Aaron, is the mother of Jesus, son of Allah and Zachariah is his father. But we know Jesus Christ, son of God in the gospels, mother Mary, the Virgin Mary, is not the same one as Mary, sister of Aaron. We also know that the father who was with Mary, not Jesus' direct father, because that was the father, but the guy who was with Mary at the time was Joseph. So Joseph and Mary had Jesus, but in this one, Zachariah and Mary, sister of Aaron, who is a different Mary, had Jesus Christ, son of Allah. So that's who they're talking about now. And in the breakdown, the reason he says he shall preach from his youth to his elderly years is because he's saying to Muslims, when those guys tell you that Jesus was crucified at 33, then rose from the dead by himself. It's not actually true. What actually happened is he just preached until he was old, then he died naturally. And he remained in the righteous company of the prophets of old. This is Allah telling Muslims, Jesus didn't hang around with Jews at all. That's a lie that we hate the Jews, remember? So Jesus, although he was a Jew, he didn't hang around with Jews. He came to Saudi Arabia and became a Muslim. And he was hanging around with Imran and uh, Prophet Muhammad and these guys. They're the prophets of old who Jesus Christ, son of Allah, was really with. Th throwing further shade on Christianity in expectation, and this is important, in expectation that his Muslims are going to disobey him and actually go and speak to these Christians because they are going to want to know the truth from themselves, i.e. they're not going to believe this, even though they can't openly say that or have doubts because <coughs> off the head you're dead if you do that. They're going to read the Quran and think, this has got holes in it. Let's go and speak to the Christians to make sure because Allah did actually say, ask them, they saw it themselves. After which he then said, don't speak to them or I'll kill you. So Muslims know this guy is a little bit snaky, he's not always honest, even though he claims he is, and they're going to want to go and speak to the Christians. So, to make sure that doesn't fucking happen, he's saying now, Jesus did not get resurrected at 33, die on the cross, and then go to heaven, that's not true. He preached from youth until his elderly years, and he remained righteous in the company of the prophets of old, who are Imran and Mohammed, not the Jewish guys. <laughs> and we move on. Then he is talking to Mary, as in Mary, sister of Aaron, and Mary saith, O Lord, how shall it be that I should have a son being pure and humbly a virgin? And he said, Allah said, Even so, Allah will do what he will do. When he says a thing, it does become true, as is his decree. End of verse. So, first of all, the thing to notice here is Mary says to the Lord, O Lord, 
How shall it be that I should have a son being pure and humbly a virgin? But in the last verses that we read, the last page, it, the reason wasn't that she was a virgin. The reason was that she was barren. Imran specifically said, and Zachariah did, who is Mary's husband, she won't be able to have a child because she's barren. Remember, and I quote, he said, O oh Lord, show me a sign that I should have a son at this advanced age and that my wife be barren. So yesterday, Allah was saying that the reason they couldn't have this child is because they were old and barren, even though she's one. She's literally one day old. But today that's changed and the reason she can't have a child is because she's humbly a virgin. And he said, even so, Allah will do what he will do. When he says a thing, it does become true as his decree. So he is stealing from the Gospels. This is actually Jesus Christ of Nazareth, not Jesus Christ, son of Allah, the fake one. The real Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the actual Christ. What we can say about Jesus Christ is when he says a thing, it's either already true, that's why he's saying it, or when he says it, it becomes the truth because he has said it. That's the power and the miracle of Jesus Christ. That's why we call him the living water, the truth and the word and the way, because that's what he does. But no, what we're supposed to believe now is that Allah is the one who says that and Allah, uh, Jesus Christ, son of Allah, is the one who can do that. And we know this to be true because Allah is literally telling Mary before Jesus is born, when he says a thing, this guy, when he says a thing, it becomes true as his degree. And that means Jesus can't now do that. Only this guy can. 49. He said, Allah will bring a prophet to the evil ones, the children of Israel. He will revise your scripture in truth, O, she, o ye Muslims. I will make a bird of clay and breathe the breath of life into it and this holy dove will heal the sick, cure the blind and by Allah's will raise the dead to life. End of verse. So breaking that down, anyone who has read the Gospels, Christians are going to love this. What Allah is saying here is Allah will bring a prophet to the evil ones, the children of Israel. So he's saying those Jews are evil still. But he's going to bring them a prophet and I think he's talking about Jesus, son of Allah. And what that prophet will do is revise the scripture. So the prophet Jesus Christ, son of Allah, will go to Israel and tell them that their gospels and their Old Testament's actually wrong and revise it to this. That's what he's prophesizing here. And the way they're going to know this is true is Allah will make a bird of clay, breathe the breath of life into the clay bird so it becomes a real dove. And this holy dove will go and heal the sick, cure the blind, and by Allah's will raise the dead to life. So again... Allah is throwing shade on Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the um, Torah of the Jews by saying, A, Jesus Christ, son of Allah, is going to go to the children of Israel, revise their scripture back to this, in truth, O ye Muslims. He's telling this to Muslims. And the second thing is, how they will know that this guy is the truth is not because he's going to speak of the truth himself and perform miracles himself. Oh, no, no, he's not going to be able to do that. Allah is going to make a bird out of clay, breathe life into it so it becomes a real bird, then send it there. So when it arrives, they're just going to see a dove. They're not going to know the whole clay bit that came before it. But then, to prove it, the dove is going to heal the sick. The dove is literally going to go around healing sick people. That dove is going to cure the blind and, by Allah's will, raise the fucking dead. So according to Allah, Jesus isn't going to be doing these miracles. A, a clay dove that he created and blew life into to make real is going to go there. And the dove is going to raise the dead. That's what Allah is saying. That's what this means. <laughs> so anyway, we move on. 50. I have come to you from the heavens to reveal to you what is hidden, the Torah which came before me. I will make lawful that which has been forbidden. For Allah alone, for I am his sign and you must obey me. End of verse. Now, I don't know whether you noticed what happened there. A minute ago, three verses ago, Mary was saying, how will I have this child Jesus because I am a virgin? And Allah was going, no, it's cool we'll sort you out that baby you'll be pregnant you'll have that baby because i say so that's what Allah said three verses ago so literally 10 minutes ago now jesus is upon the earth as an adult talking and he's telling O muslims i have come to you from the heavens to reveal to you what is hidden so if he has come from the heaven as a fully formed adult why did allah say he was going to give a baby to mary you can't have it both ways, Allah. Either Mary's going to have a baby called Jesus or Jesus is going to come down as an adult from the heavens. But anyway, as we know, 
Alar is um, the king of senior moments. He's got a little bit of dementia and he doesn't know what he's talking about most of the time. And I think this is another example of how Alar actually doesn't know all things, can't read the minds or the future and just talks fucking nonsense. So, I have come to you from the heavens to reveal to you what is hidden. And by the way, if you remember three episodes ago, Alar said nothing is hidden from him on uh, heaven or earth. He reveals all truths. So if all truths have been revealed, O Allah, wise one, how is Jesus Christ, son of Allah, going to come and reveal what is hidden? Nothing's hidden according to you. So Jesus Christ, son of Allah, is going to come down and reveal absolutely nothing, because there's nothing hidden. Then he's going to teach the Torah which came before him. Now, Jesus Christ, son of Allah, is being born now. Even though he's just come down as a fully fledged adult to do this little bit, a minute ago he was going to be born as a baby, so he hasn't been born yet. So saying the Torah that came before him invalidates his earlier claim that he gave the Torah to Moses all the way back in the beginning of the book. So once again, Allah, which version is true? Did you give Moses the Torah all that time again so it came before Moses? Or did you give it to Jesus Christ, son of Allah, here before he's born? Who knows? He can't even make sense of his own scripture. So let's carry on. Then the last thing he says is fear Allah alone for I am his sign and you must obey me. So Jesus Christ son of Allah even though he's not born yet has come down as a fully fledged adult and what he's telling you O Muslims is fear Allah alone for I am his sign and you must obey me. So once again we see Allah is putting his Muslims in a fucking difficult position here because you cannot obey only Allah and also obey Jesus Christ son of Allah. Because Jesus Christ, son of Allah, just said he is coming down to give you the Gospels and the Torah. So if you obey him, you'll be doing what those books say. But as we know, this book says the opposite of what those books say. For instance, the Torah and the Gospels both say thou shall never murder. In here, it says you can murder if someone murders against you. So it's an eye for an eye in this book, which is the opposite. So... I am his sign, obey me, makes Muslims bad. They can, as soon as they start following this, they're not following Allah. And if they're following Allah, he's telling them to do this. So Allah is literally telling them to break his commands so that he can punish them later. Just saying. Don't believe me, buy it and read it. It's in there. 51. It is Allah who is my Lord, and we both do worship only him. This is the correct path and the straight way to worship. So I think what's happening here, even though it's terribly poorly written, Allah, your literacy is dog shit. It's just bad. There's no other way to say it. What he's saying here is, it is Allah whom is my Lord. So now this is Jesus Christ, son of Allah, who is still down as a human, besides not being born yet. He's there with his mother Mary, even though she hasn't even been impregnated yet, and she's still one day old. They are both saying to you, O Muslim, the reader, it is Allah who is my Lord, and we both do worship only him. This is the correct path and the straight way to worship. So they're arguing against having to follow Jesus Christ, son of Allah, because he said, obey me. They're saying, no, we don't want to worship you, Jesus Christ, son of Allah. We want to worship Allah. And then he said, it misses, it goes straight from there into the disciple story. So keep in mind, Mary a minute ago was saying, how am I going to have this baby? She hasn't even been pregnant yet. But since then... Jesus Christ, son of Allah, has come down as a fully fledged human from the heavens. That's expressly in here. So he wasn't born of Mary. She never had him as a kid. And then there was some argument between Mary and Zachariah about whether they should follow this guy, despite the fact that Allah said, this guy is going to be the holiest of all men. You have to follow him. He himself said, obey me, not this guy. So he's making it impossible for Muslims to be a good Muslim now because they can't follow both. They're opposite commands. And then, whew, nothing to see here. We're just going to move straight on from there, which suggests to me that Imran has taken something out here or he has corrupted it in some way because it makes no fucking sense. So we get to the last verse, which says, 52, he, as in Jesus Christ, son of Allah, he found disciples and upon their own disbelief, he said, you will be my helpers. You will aid me in furthering Allah's worship and advancement of his tasks. All shall believe in Allah as Lord and bear witness that all shall be Muslims. End of verse, end of reading. Now, he found disciples. Bearing in mind this guy just came down from the heavens. All right, everyone saw that. According to Allah, Jesus Christ, son of Allah, came down from the heavens like he floated down on a cloud as a full human. Who looks like Jesus, but a Muslim version. 
Then he said, everyone should worship me, I'm the son of Allah. And there was some discussion from his parents, or who should have been his parents, but actually weren't because he floated down. They were saying, are we going to follow Allah or are we going to follow you? And what he said is, I am doing everything in the words of Allah. So you follow both of us, but you obey me now when I'm here. Even though what he said earlier means follow the Torah and the Gospels, which is the opposite to this. So it's a big fucking pig's ear of messy, doesn't make any sense, loose ends. <laughs> then we <laughs> nothing to see him move past that. And he finds his disciples. And the first thing it says about the disciples is, upon their own disbelief, he said, you will be my helpers. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. If you see a guy float down from the heavens on a cloud and he proclaims he's the son of Allah, Jesus Christ, and you have heard a prophecy that he's going to turn up, although you did hear that Mary was going to have a virgin birth, but that didn't happen. So he comes down from a cloud, says, I'm the son of Allah. You saw him come down on a cloud. Why would you have disbelief? Why would you have disbelief if you physically saw a man fly down on a cloud from the heavens and he was like gleaming? That's what it says. He said, you will be my helpers. You will aid me in furthering Allah's worship and advancement of his tasks, which we know his tasks are making everyone worship Allah and worship the Quran or die and killing the Jews and Christians in a big holy jihad. So this is actually telling us Jesus Christ, son of Allah, is here with his disciples to further Allah's holy jihad. That's what this is saying. So the false Christ, Jesus Christ, son of Allah, is not like our Christ, who is peace and love and truth. Jesus Christ, son of Allah, is his lieutenant in order to get the jihad going and complete the task of the end times genocidal prophecy. So we make it back to the genocidal prophecy. I was wondering when he was going to drop that in. Allah has sent down Jesus Christ, son of Allah, even though he said it was going to be through Mary and it ended up just floating down from the sky. The reason this guy has turned up and collected disciples is not to bring peace on earth like he previously said. It's to complete the end times genocidal prophecy, the holy jihad, and kill all the Jews and Christians. That's what this means. And then he rounds out the reading and the last bit of the verse by saying, All shall believe in Allah as the Lord and bear witness that all shall be Muslims. Now, this was written over a thousand years ago, almost 1500 years ago. Has that happened? His prophecy that he shall bear witness that all shall be Muslims, including me, has this prophecy turned out to be true? Is all people Muslims? Fucking no. So is this legit? Fucking no. Is this legit? Fucking no. And the end summary we can tell from book two, the second surah, is this is even worse than the first one. In terms of literacy and factual accuracy, it's just pie in the sky. None of this stuff is true. And the only reason that Allah is going to the trouble of making up a story about Jesus Christ and saying Jesus Christ is the son of Allah and he's here to do a jihad is so that when his Muslims meet Christians, they don't listen to what we tell them and they are put off learning the truth so they can be constantly enslaved to Allah's cause of a holy jihad and killing everybody else. And that's the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed that and you learned something. I'll see you back here tomorrow at 7.15 when we'll go through more illiterate foamy mouth ramblings of the Quran of the Muslims, Allah, Muhammad, Imran and friends. Until then, have a great evening. God bless you all and I will see you lovely people in the next one. Bye now. Jesus Christ, son of Allah. He must be in a la la land. So anyway, if you don't want to be in a la la land, catch up with me tomorrow at 7.15 a.m. For more without lies, Islam dies. Until then, God bless. Have a great evening. And I'll see you lovely people in the next one. Bye now. Bye bye bye.